off the plane at any Olympic Games is pretty exciting and possibly a little bit overwhelming. Um, look, you've worked four years to get to this point and then to finally be there. Um, it is just a really, really special time. It's actually quite a long process getting from the airport to the Olympic Village. The most important thing we need to get is our accreditation pass. This gets us access to the village itself and all the training and competition venues and most importantly, the dining hall. Walking into the Olympic Village for the first time is pretty amazing. Uh, both Athens and Beijing were set up very similar. Um, I can remember going into both um, and walking past each country's um, apartment blocks and how they decorated them with their national flags and, and their little mascots. In Athens, my roommate was Gian Rooney. She was lovely. I didn't actually know her before. Um, getting onto the Australian team, um, but she was a really good, good mentor and somebody to look up to. Um, she'd been on the team previously, so um, she was a really good person to go to if I had any questions. Uh, in Beijing, I roomed with Liesl Jones. We were actually training partners and we are actually really, really close, so it was great to experience the Olympics with her. Both Olympic villages are very similar in the way that they're set up. Both have a 50 metre training pool, a gymnasium, a games room, but the most important part of an Olympic village is the dining hall. This is a size of two football fields. As the games start to wrap up, you see a lot of athletes moving away from the healthy options and tending to gravitate towards the all-you-can-eat free McDonald's.